Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to. This the I, I'm gonna look for you know better better videos because I don't want this like y'all to end y'all Thanksgiving you know on a sour note. So we're gonna watch this one, but after this one, we're gonna follow up with something a little bit better. I asked a few New Mexico officers how they would feel about this female officer showing up as backup for them in a potentially deadly situation. After promising not to reveal their identities, all four of them told me they would rather they have no backup at all then have this liability show up and make things worse. Oh my but the real lesson to be learned here is that you are your own first responder. Even the best and most well-meaning cops cannot be present there when your emergency happens. You have to call 911 and hope they show up before something horrible happens. Hey everybody, it's James Freeman, and today's video is a little bit different than what I normally share here, but it does show the incompetence of yet another incompetent government employee. Therefore, I feel like it still fits in. More importantly, I think that you guys, the audience, will get a kick out of this completely incompetent police officer. Luckily, no one was seriously injured in this incident. But if it weren't for civilians helping this worthless cop, it could have turned deadly. On Thursday, August 3rd, 2023, around 12 p.m., New Mexico State Police received a report from a woman who said that her white SUV had been stolen. She stated that she got into an argument with the man who then stole her vehicle and took off. In this video, a pregnant police officer spots the vehicle on NM63 just outside of Pecos and tries to pull him over. Ten four in my location. I'm going. Um, gonna be going south on 63. We're almost to I two five. If somebody can set up some spikes right there, he's on the opposite lane of travel right now. He is all over the roadway. Yeah, the 307. Yeah, 10 4. We're coming up to the 307. I'll let you know if he goes um, north or south. Yeah, we're going to be looking at your address. I'm 14 and headed back that way. I was at the 314. I don't know which way they go. He's going down Caballo Lane and he's turning around. He's trying to, he's just, he's trying to ram me off the road. He's, he just crashed me. He's trying to pull, he's trying to get me to pull over. He just rammed me. That's it. 10-4, he's right behind me. He just rammed me. He pulled off to the side of the road. He is turning around now. Please let Santa Fe Regional know. I think he's going to try to go back to the house. He's driving all over the road. Freaking idiots. Alrighty, absolutely not. If a cop is pregnant, they should absolutely not be. 146 cent of my current 20. I'm passing Caballo Lane. I'm going back north. On 63, we're coming up on the one, the one mile marker. He's in the opposite lane of travel right now. Should I try to? I think I'm gonna pit him because he's. Okay, y'all. Uh, so I think Brady asked if pregnant officers should be on out on the field doing this. What she's doing right, right here. Absolutely not. There's so many reasons why you don't want to have a pregnant woman in the field trying to fight crime. You know, it's a danger to her. First, it's a danger to the baby. It's a danger to her. It's a danger to everybody on her team. It's a danger to the citizens. Her, her main priority over everything is going to be to try to protect her baby. 
So if she feels her baby is threatened, she's going to have a heightened sense of not, you know, looking at things through that lens versus being objective about something. You know, she's going to be more willing to hurt, you know, pull out her gun and shoot somebody before they are able to do anything to her or her baby. Uh, she's going to be more emotional. You know, you know, like out of nowhere, she might have sickness or it's just so many reasons that will seem like common sense why a pregnant officer should not be on the field, especially one who gets on the scene and keeps saying, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. Why would you why would you do that? Why would you put yourself and your baby and your team in that position? Yeah, Gamo, she she pregnant. I'm wondering that too. What kind of husband will allow their wife to go work as a damn cop with their child in her stomach? I would never allow my wife to do that job. Just exactly just the hormones alone is asking for trouble right i don't exactly i don't know you know who knows if she even has a husband and if she did have a husband the way she probably is the husband is probably you know the wife but uh yeah this is this is insane uh for one well, I already got into it. Y'all, y'all know this is absolutely ridiculous. Why would you why would you be doing field work pregnant? It's so many you, you you're better off at the office or doing something that is not requiring you to put your life on the line. She it, right here, she's talking about doing a pit maneuver on this guy driving down the road. She pregnant. If she crashed, it's it makes no sense, but you know, they just do crazy stuff. Let's get back into it, y'all. Are there any units closer to me so I can pit him and we can contain the vehicle? He's in opposite lane of travel right now. He's putting other people in danger. Oh, you're ready to step off the road. I don't actually don't have a pit. 10-4, it looks like he's going to try it. He's slowing down. He's going to take... Old Denver Highway. Ten four. He's not going to take Old Denver Highway. He has a tire iron. Bellini, stop. One forty six income. He has. Uh, there's a biker. No, he oh, just. Man. That was her fault. Get off the road. Hey, get off the road. He's dangerous. Get off the road. One forty six income. He is still driving down sixty three. Yeah. We're going towards <laughs> into Pagos. He attempted to hit a person on a bike. One forty six income. There's more. No. <laughs> this this is already too much. Like, for one, she didn't she done ran into him. <laughs> he almost crashed into the guy. She screaming at him, telling him to get off the road. When no, nah, no kidding. <laughs> he just almost ran me over. Uh, I might. I think the man have enough sense to know, like, hey, you might want to get out the way. More people on the bikes. I'm going to hit him. Head on. 146 cent come. He's still going. He's he's crashing my vehicle intentionally as well. She sounds like she's about to cry. We're here at the two. He's on. She's now remember, she she's pregnant and she's rammed this this truck twice. Every time you do that, you're having an impact on the vehicle and yourself, which now she's carrying the baby, so it's an impact on the baby. If she continues to keep doing this, absolutely crazy. Why would you do this while you're pregnant? But 146 income, he's running at me. Stop! Look at her. I'm gonna fucking take you, dude. Stop. 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 Dang. What you see here in that car with? You gonna run him over? 
I know she's not about to run him over. She's crazy. Hey, she tried to run him over, man. What? Just tase him. What are you doing? Stop! Stop! Now, see, this is an instant where you would use, you know, you would use some force, but you don't try to run him over with a car. This is when you use the taser or pepper spray or whatever. That, this is when you use that. You know. So instead of using the taser, she get in her, she, <laughs> she get back in the car and try to run him over. Don't let him get in. Stop, stop. <laughs> Stop! Don't fucking do it! Put it out! Put it out! Put it out! Thank you! Put it out! Stop! Stop! Put it He's, up, trying to... out. He's trying to... Stop! No! He's trying to grab my gun! Get out the cook! Get out the cook! Get out the cook! You motherfucker! I'm gonna fucking take you! I got him! I got him! I got him! I'm gonna fucking take you! Put it out! Put it the fuck out! Put it out! Put it out! What's this agent, up? what are you talking about? Stop oh, resisting. Hey, the fuck it it out. Just let it go. Get it out. Cut it out. And she just she just put this uh she just put this citizen life in danger as well. And this citizen just put himself his self in danger because he doesn't know what's going on here. That's why I don't know how quick I would be to jump at uh trying to help the help the police apprehend somebody because I don't know why they they're being apprehended. But this is a valid reason, you know, right here in this situation, I would say, but you never know if they're just chasing them for, you know, because somebody refused to give them ID and the person and the officer said, oh, well, if you don't give me your ID, I'm about to arrest you and the person take off and run. Then you got citizens that will try to apprehend that person that ran away from them trying to violate them. And, you know, you never know the situation, so. This this guy probably wanted to be a cop at some point, and you know. Sorry, fuck the bitch. No, I'm a fucking take you. Stop. No, no, no. Well, you definitely shouldn't take somebody in the face. So I don't know why she just don't. There's no reason to put the taser in his face like that. If you're gonna tase him, tase him on the side or something like that. I don't know why she's hesitating so much to just. If you're gonna tase him, do it. You got the citizen putting on the handcuffs. She is useless. She just in there. I'm gonna tase you. I'm gonna tase you. Oh. 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 <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> you see the man trying to kick him? Stop yeah. trying to bite me. Yo, this is your job. 146, I got one mile detained. Yeah. We're on 63. Fuck that. At the two. You hit this shit, dog. I swear. Hold up, I need to. Hold up, I need to. Shut the fuck up. No, you guys are fucked. Hold up. You guys are fucked. Why hasn't she. I don't know why she hasn't tased him yet. She's no help to this citizen, this random citizen who decided to help her. She's no help to him. I don't, what is she even there for? If you're going to tase him, uh, I think she is married too. That's crazy. So, Gummo, she does have a husband that let her do this dumb, this dumb stuff right here. Why? Why would you, why would you be doing field work right now? If you... If you're that worried about being pregnant, why would you do field work right now? And then look how badly she's doing it. Like she's gonna get herself hurt. She's gonna get citizens hurt. She's gonna she's putting everybody in danger. 
by making her dumb decision. So incompetent is, you know, the best word for this. I feel fit to take you for help. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Shut up. Yes, thank you. Oh, so Jima, you didn't really miss much. What the only thing that you really missed so far is that he was he was running. He was in the he was driving away in his uh, SUV, and uh, she tried she tried to pit maneuver him twice, and it didn't work. And she's pregnant. This cop, this cop that's in this video is pregnant. This other person here is just a random citizen that's helping her out. So being pregnant, she ran she rammed his truck twice. Uh, the guy almost ran over a. a you know, a citizen riding on their riding on their bike because she pit him in the wrong in the wrong place, and you know, she's just making a lot of bad decisions. The first one was ever working while she was pregnant, but she wouldn't. She she kept saying she's gonna tase him or whatever. I don't know why she just didn't tase him and get it over with because this is one of the rare. This is one of the times where. Using the taser would not be excessive force. You know, this this would be a taser in this situation would be justified. You know, this guy is running, he he's running people off the road, swerving back and forth, almost ran somebody over. Uh, but now that he's outside his vehicle, at this point, tase him. He done ran up to her her squad SUV, broke the windshield. <laughs> He got a he got a um a, a windshield wiper in his hand like you know swing get hit and everything. I don't know why at this point she didn't tase him, but she still she just keeps saying I'm gonna I'm gonna tase you I'm gonna tase you. <laughs> Righty <and> crazy. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Gummo. Yeah, this man is absolutely out of his mind, for sure. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Stop! Resisting right now! Up now! Do you understand? Look at her. Still trying to have some essence of authority or whatever. Stop right now! You, come on. She's the least threatening or least authoritative. Go be a mom. Go like. Come on. What is you doing? Go do something that doesn't require you to stress yourself out like this. And stress the baby out. Imagine how much stress is going on right now. For one, she was probably already scared before she got pregnant, and now it's heightened even more. Yes. Well, then, uh, ah, you know. Be quiet. Ah, okay. I'm, I surrender. You know, to clean that lady. This is Brisbane. I know you hear me. I spell out of control. Ah, ah. She also tried to run him over with her with her and instead of tasing him, she decided to try to run him over with her squad car. Oh, I mean, it's good, Daddy. Stop, I turned it back okay. up. I should take my insulin. I should take my insulin. He has a tire. Yeah, I was I was looking at that too. Was she it looked like she had like her gun out when she said she was gonna tase him? That did look like a gun. But if you look at the front of it, it, it does look like a taser. I know it's usually yellow, though. So I can't say for sure, for sure. I can't find it now. I got flat. You have to on my unit. I wanted to, but I just put him on. Oh, you're going to break my fucking ass. What should we do? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let me go. Shut up. Oh, what are you guys doing? Shut up. Be quiet. Okay, I'm gonna take one off, but I'm gonna hold that wrist like that. Look listen to how panic and look how panic and everything she is like. 
why would you put yourself in that situation? She put herself in that situation. Yeah, but I hear y'all. What what she had in her, what she had in her hand did look all black. What when the when the video is over, we'll go back and see exactly what it was. Hey, please don't act, Be quiet. You know, be quiet. Throw the back door. She's gonna wait for her help. Hold up, okay? I told her to stop. Right. I told you ah, to stop. She be didn't quiet. even know where Be quiet. Ah. Hold up, let me keep this okay. off, okay? She's crazy. Because it's Shut up. No, let me do it by myself. I'll put it in the box. Ah, Stop oh, pulling up. Stop pulling up. Okay, okay. this is cool. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Let me grab it. Okay, I'll give it, it to you. Stop. I'll give it to you. Stop. You like tried you. to grab my gun. Shut up. No, I don't touch you. Don't touch me. You guys are jumping me. Shut up. You guys are fucking jumping. I don't know what it is with cops and trying to control free speech. But telling him to shut up is not going to make the situation even better. I don't know why him talking or whatever is bothering her so much. Uh, but I just hate when they try to tell you, when they try to stop your free speech while they arresting you. It, I don't, this guy is a complete lunatic, obviously. But you still can't take away his free speech and tell him to shut up and all that. You know, you can, but. He doesn't have to, and you shouldn't feel like you need to tell him to. If you want, whenever you tell somebody to do something, a lot of times they're going to do the opposite. So if you tell somebody to shut up, they're probably going to keep talking. If you tell somebody to calm down, you probably just stress them out even more. You know. Oh, baby. Oh, my husband's dying. This other fucking bougie ran right over me in the car. Be quiet, oh, dude. You that. freaking hit me. I turned it back at me. multiple times. I think oh, okay. I'm going to get um gloves and stuff. I'm going to just pat him down. I can do this. Let's sit him up because he's on his I can do this. That was the least confident I can do this ever. You know, it doesn't sound like you can do it. And the sergeant here right here should have stepped in and told her to go sit in the car if if i was this sergeant i would tell her to go sit in the car go go sit down and relax you you tripping right now you're doing too much you you you're too emotionally invested right now you need to go and, and relax Shut up. Shut up. Don't talk to me. I want one for the 41 he went head on with. She's in a bike. Like a bicycle. And then the male as well. To kill everybody that was innocent. She hit her tires, but she jumped out of the way in time. Huh? He, him, this was the white navigator, yeah. That was the one we were looking for. He's come in when I come, came out of. Thank God. One forty six. The tire. Tempo. I don't believe the 41 was injured, but he did intentionally go, and I did see the bike. I mean, his vehicle hit the bike tire. Steve Jimenez was arrested and booked into the San Miguel County Detention Center, charged with aggravated battery on an officer, aggravated battery on an officer with a deadly weapon times two, aggravated battery criminal damage to property, resisting arrest, battery, reckless driving, 
and attempt to commit a felony for trying to steal the truck. Had it not been for the Good Samaritan, Steve Jimenez's rampage would have continued on until a competent police officer arrived. This female officer arriving on scene was more dangerous than nobody arriving at all because the suspect easily could have taken control of her, all of her weapons, her vehicle, and anything else. We hear her mentioning multiple times throughout the incident that the man is trying to take her gun. If it weren't for the Good Samaritan, it would have easily become his gun. I've called the department multiple times. Yeah, see, that's a taser, y'all. Over the last month, oh. it would have easily be. See, yeah, that's a taser. For one, the the grip is short, and you can see how bulky the front is. That's not on a- his gun. see it kind of looked like it like right here but if you look more you can see that's not that's not a gun I called the department it's not a it's not a gun that shoot bullets multiple times over the last month month to try to find out if this female officer is still out on patrol but they haven't gotten back to me. I asked a few New Mexico officers how they would feel about this female officer showing up as backup for them in a potentially deadly situation. After promising not to reveal their identities, all four of them told me they would rather they have no backup at all than have this liability show up and make things worse. But the real lesson to be learned here is that you are your own first response. The reason I, I don't think she tased them right here because she didn't want to make a mistake and taste the citizen. I think that was going on. That's why she put, um, she was putting it up to his head, which is crazy. Putting a taser to somebody's head is nuts. Um, but she could have, it's, she could taste him in the leg. She could taste him on the side. It's, I don't know what she was going on, but obviously she's incompetent. That's the whole. That's the, that's the whole point of the video. Responder. Even the best and most well-meaning cops cannot be present there when your emergency happens. You have to... Look how crazy he looking. You need to taste that guy, man. He is absolutely out of his mind. Call 911 and hope they show up before something horrible happens. You are responsible for your own safety and security. That is something that the government will never be able to provide for you, no matter how well-meaning they may be. No, he's trying to grab my gun. Get the other clip. Get the other clip. I'm pregnant. So I need you. What should we do? He tried to grab my gun. Shut up. I don't trust you. I'm going to just pet him down. I can do this. I don't care. Shut up. Don't talk to me. I don't care. I can do this. That was crazy, man. All right. Hold on, y'all. So, so what we're gonna check out? It. Hold on, let me see. What y'all think about that? <laughs> yeah, that was that was BS. But he did try to hit them. I don't know. I, well, I don't know if he actually tried to hit him versus was trying to get control of the vehicle, but I wouldn't pe- put it past him because this guy was absolutely out of his mind. 